That's Matt Williams drinking water. I'm asking, I'll hold it for you, don't worry about it. Okay. I'll ask you uh, easy questions first. Okay. Say and spell your name. Okay, uh, Conrad. Wait, look at me. Like okay. it, It'll get you real okay. easily, All right. no problem. All right, Conrad, C-O-N-R-A-D, H-U-R-T-A-D-O. How do you say your last name? H-U-R-T-A-D-O. Hortado? Yeah, Hortado. Hortado? Yeah. Cool. Oh, what do you think about the rain? Um, it's kind of, it's really nice to actually have this, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's been so hot here lately. It's do you nice. think the rain cools things off? Yeah, it's it's awesome. I love it. What do you I think about the smell of the rain? It smells great. I love it. I love it here, and it, it really smells nice, and uh, I wish it would rain all day, every day. Do you think uh, we really need the rain? Well, yeah, definitely. It's, it hasn't, like... Um, Rain too much here lately, so we definitely need it. It seems like the rain like washes the streets out and everything. Right, yeah, like it, it seems clean and everything. It's like it smells nice and it's awesome. Anything you want to say to El Paso or people out there? Well, yeah, I live in El Paso, and El Paso for the most part doesn't get rain, but oh, I love this tonight. This is beautiful. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Right. That's a good sound. Great. Say and smell your name. Okay. All right, my name is. Don't worry about, like, look at me when you talk. Okay, my name is Melvin Tucker, M E L V I N Tucker, T U C K E R. Cool. And uh, uh, go back to where you're at. All right. Make hey, it. you uh, must want to play. You lean forward, it kind of makes you fuzzy. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. You were trying to help out. Kind of holding more light. It's a bright light. Okay, so. What do you got your name or anything? Hey, Melvin. So what do you rain? My favorite thing about the rain is the ozone smell. When the earth opens up and accepts that rain, that ozone smell, that's the best thing to me. It's a smell of the atmosphere and it really brings us closer and it should give us a better perspective of where we are in the world in the middle of a desert, you know? And we should uh, accept the rain as sort of a blessing, you know? So every time it rains here, I really feel blessed, sort of. Yeah. And uh, it's great, you know. You should take some time to appreciate the greenery, the foliage. Hold on, man. Get this thing, please. You're killing me. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, man, so uh, it's not like the desert smells, the ozone smell. Why do you think you smell it so pronouncedly out here in the desert? I'm originally from Ohio, the Buckeye State. But I've come out here because I like the isolation, I like the serenity, and it's very balanced, you know? It makes everybody focus on what's important. There's not vegetation here, unless you go to the valley where the Rio Grande is. And so I think it makes people appreciate, you know? And it's important to me, the ozone smell, because without that smell, how do you know that the plants, that there's any kind of photosynthesis, that there's any kind of growth here, you'd be very depressed in this kind of environment, this arid high desert of the northern Chihuahua, <laughs> if you didn't have a sort of perspective that told you, hey, you know, this rain is a very special thing. What do you mean by like with just the plants and like the people here in the Rio Grande Valley and all their crops? Yes, that's incredibly important. The pecan farms, the cotton farms, these things like that, how uplifting is it when you drive around all day and all you see are cacti and succulents while they are beautiful plants? And we should not neglect the natural habitat that we are blessed with here. When you do see the rain and it brings up some of the deciduous foliage, I think that's incredibly important and it should be accepted. It is a little bit of a damper, if you'll excuse the pun, on my nightlife and on everybody's nightlife. But, I mean, we can all do one day without watering our plants, right? Right, so. and your name was uh, Melvin Gordon Tucker? M Melvin Tucker. Melvin Tucker. Melvin Gordon's the running back for the Chargers. That's what I was gonna... <laughs> and then, Gordon Tucker. Uh, you wanna go for it, you wanna shot? Sure. Right. Right. Stay where you're at, actually. I'm gonna frame you up a little differently. Okay, are you not gonna move from that position? Not gonna move. Okay, well, let me get Todd on you. Actually <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that? Does she want to commit? Come on, get an interview too. Tell her to. Yep. Uh, 
But she'd like to. Throw her in the mix. Bye, bye. She'll be my new woman. Cool, I'll hold the microphone. Don't worry about it. Babe. Cool. When you talk, talk to me. Will do. Awesome. Okay, um, getting tough questions first. Say and spell your name. Ralph Waldo Pickle oh, yeah. Chips. That's Ralph Waldo. Pickle Chips. All right, man, you're killing oh, yeah. me. Did you fit in on what I can? No, 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 no. It's Jesus Galicia. Jacob. Okay. Say it one more time. Jesus Galicia. Jesus Galicia. Will you spell it for me? G E S U S. Jesus. Galicia. G A L I C A. Okay. What do you think about the rain? The rain is actually something poetic to us, El Pasoans. It's an opportunity to be touched by a lover, a very distant lover that I so call, you know. It's a passionate time. It's a very time to actually have an opportunity to smell. Because out here, you get a lot of allergies, trying to be like scientific, um, into the science. A lot of people are suffering from such allergies. <laughs> but the rain is an opportunity, like um, Melvin over here said. It's, uh, it's an opportunity to have foliage, uh, a lot of wildlife come down. You know, you have an opportunity not only just not you know, plant your water and take care of your lawn, but it's time to appreciate what we don't have. Cool. What do you think about the way the rain smells? The rain smells? I love it when it hits the asphalt. It's um, something that you don't buy from a store. You know, there's no candle scent like that. There's no Febreze scent like that. It's something that's a very rare opportunity, especially here in El Paso. And fortunately, we are experiencing it right now. It's such a beautiful day as Memorial Day. Thank you so much for your service, guys. I appreciate you. You guys have a blessed day. Talking to me looks so much better than you do, trust me. Um, can you describe the smell of the rain? The smell of the rain. I don't know. A lot of people say um, wet upon concrete. A lot of people say dirt upon wet. I honestly think it smells like um, someone I miss. Someone I hold very dearly to my heart. And that's something that I think a lot of people here can relate to because we just don't, we don't get rain often. So the smell actually does remind us of something a lot more deeper than what is actually relaying to in reality. That, that's good stuff. Um, what do you think about it, like washing away the roads? Oh, like the, all the Can cement, the yeah, all the yeah, cement the road. roads and the construction the that's going road. on, the yeah. asphalt. I mean, it should be good. Yeah. It should be something that, you know, we could look all forward to, something a little bit more clean, a little bit more paved. Gives the construction workers something a little bit more um, easier to work with. However, not right now because of all the mud, the guck, you know, the mix with the cement. If you mix wet cement with more wetness, you're not going to get the job done at all. Oh, I get anything like to say to El Paso or... Um, go Chihuahuas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you. Hey, Steve's with a G. That's right. You sure it's with a G, not a J? It's a G, Galicia. Okay. I want to make sure it's perfect. Absolutely. Can you spell Galicia? I'll shake your hand. G-A-L-I-C-A. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. This will be on the 10 o'clock. One time. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> my